Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to uh, get the custom functions in our uh, uh, JMeter or Base64 encoding in our JMeter. Uh, so for that, first we need to install Plugin Manager in our uh, JMeter. Uh, if you get the Plugin Manager, it has to show the option under op uh, option of Plugin Manager and Option menu. So I will open the Plugin Manager. So now uh, I will search go for available groups and I will search for function. So I have here you need to check the custom JMeter functions. So and click apply and restart. You will get you will get any JMeter uh, functions now. So first we'll check for the available functions what we are existing. So function uh, head tools tools function helper dialog. Then you will get uh, the function block. So this is the default function what we have. So you will get some CSV functions, uh, some basic support functions, uh, basic for encoding functions, and different types of functions. I mean, they're useful for us. So we'll get. So we'll try for that. Uh, open plugin manager, master functions. Click apply and restart. We'll see the after restart. Jupyter has restarting automatically. It's a new feature came with 3.3. Uh, initially, we need to download our jar and we need to copy it in a link folder and then we need to uh, restart our Jupyter. So, this is our Jupyter. Okay, open. Now go to the functions. Go to the functions and now so we got the basics for a default, basics for encoding. Decoding. So if you have any basic for encoding that need to be sent to your JVT script, then you need to install this plugin to make use of the basic for and decode the uh, encoding decode. Okay, so yes, we know we have got a uh, choose choose random. So it will get you the list of numbers here and it will set the random value from here. And uh, uh, you will have uh, okay different types of functions we have here. So as per uh, the requirement, we can make use of it. You can make use of it. So uh, your encode, your decode, uh, decode uppercase of your value, or uh, if you want to get a thread number or thread name, uh, display name, you want to do substring. So just different all types of methods we have. So all available methods we have. Uh, so here this is how we can make use of uh, functions. Uh, thanks for listening this video, friends. Thank you.